What what is it about him that seems natural there? Uh, you know, coming from O line, I mean, coming from D line, moving to O line, uh, D line, you have to do, you have to be capable of moving fast in like short areas. So like, mm -hmm. O line, you know, they they all on this rhythm, and Josh is like quick twitch and. You just tell, like, when so, he reaches someone, uh, he just, like, passes. It's, it's, it's like, just came to a, a natural with him, so he's doing very good at it. Yes. Tech, when I probably have been asked this before, um, what's it like to have, like, eight guys who can start somewhere on the defensive line in the Big Ten all on the same team? I mean, like I said, it's a great thing to have that many guys uh, rotating in and playing. Like, it's just a bonus for us. What do you think of Nick Bosa's beard? <laughs> the beard? That's cool, man. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what to say about that. <laughs> what went into your decision um, to come back? I don't think we've spoken to you since. What went into that decision? Because um, you probably could have, could have been a decently high draft pick. Yeah, I mean, it was just a lot of things. You know, I went down and sat with my mom, Coach Johnson, a few people that I uh, love and trust. And I mean, I just made the right decision that was best for me. You know, uh, I don't like getting details about it, but I feel like I made the right decision. What is it about college football? What's the allure? What you mean? Meaning, what, what's one of the reasons why you would come? I mean, you know, in, when you college could be getting football? paid, yeah. No, I left. It. I went to the symposium this past weekend, and like, uh, it was just talking about the benefits of it. And I, college football has, I mean, it has a very, very high platform. So if you like keep this good character and everything around you, uh, it'll pay dividends off in the, in the back end. So that, <laughs> that's a good thing about college football. Where was the symposium? What, what, where in was it? Indianapolis. Indianapolis. Yeah. NCAA thing. Yeah. 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 How many? How many people were? Was it a bunch of players or? It was about 15, 20. Yeah. The, Elite guys in college football. How'd you get invited to it? Just uh, uh, the compliance just told me about it. So I mean, I went. Who were some of the other guys there? Uh, just guys from Alabama, Clemson, UCLA, just other big schools. What's it, Tycon? What's it like when you look around and I mean, obviously you're you're the old man on the D line, but you look around and JT's here, Chris Worley's here, Marcus Ball. I mean, you got a lot of guys left from that 13 class. Hey, even my boys, you know, we've been <laughs> down for a long time. You know, me, JT, Tracy. We came in uh, earlier together, and uh, Worley and Marcus. They came. I mean, we all we all been tight since freshman year, so it, it's a bonus up. for us. You know, we all like close still, so it's whatever. Yeah. How's, you, how's Tracy doing with this? Tracy's doing really good. Is he like full go, or are they taking it easy with him? Uh, not full go yet, but he, he's on the sidelines. He's going hard, like outstanding effort. You were Big Ten Defensive Lineman of the Year, but what do you think you can do even better? Like, what's something you want to even improve at even more uh, going into your fifth year senior season, Taekwon? I mean, I just want to be the best, uh, best player for this team. That's the main thing for me. I just want to go out and play hard for my teammates. That's the main thing for me. Uh, whatever else comes with it, all the accolades, uh, I mean, I don't really get into in the things like that. I just accept them. What, what is it? As you introspect a little bit, though, what is it about you? You seem to like really rise at critical moments in games. Have you noticed that too about yourself? And what is it that kind of drives you in those moments? Uh, you know, it's, it's like you just—I I just close my eyes. And, uh, I think real deep to myself when I'm like first down, second down. Those are like every down is critical in the endings of, of those games, and you just think to yourself, you think about like all the things that you had to go through to get to this moment and why not go out and give it all that you got, you know, like and during that moment, like fourth quarter, you know, everybody's tired. But so what? Mm -hmm. Just gotta go. Take one Billy just said that it used to be that the older players would get privileges, a little extra benefit of the doubt, but that seems to have gone away this year. And Coach Mick is even being harder on you guys maybe than some of the younger players is that how you see things going down? I mean, I, I I think everybody gets treated fairly the same sometimes. Old players do get a lot of extra treatment. Uh, but is it harder this year? Are they being harder uh, on the, the team leaders? Yeah, they've been cracking down on us a lot a lot more because, you know, you got to be hard on the leaders. So, like, the young players, like, anybody is, like, capable of getting anything wrong. So. I mean, yeah, it's just going to make us better, though. You just got to take coaching. 
What'd you think of the message from Ray Rice Last yesterday? Uh, I think I think it was a great, great conversation. Uh, you know, the message delivery was it was very inspirational. Uh, it taught us a lot. You know, like you you could lose it all in one day, but uh, everybody has a purpose, and I mean that message it, it hit home. Like it was very deep. Yeah, pretty, that's pretty coming from a guy who did lose it all. And, yeah. and I mean, he's not back in the league, you know. And Wait, it, uh, what, what is it like when it comes from a guy like that? I mean, that's it's a it's a walking testimony, you know. You can learn a lot from that. That's that's what I mean when I say like uh, I mean like a lot. It takes a deep person, a deep thought and consideration to like even do things like that. You know, being at the highest platform to like coming back and like sharing mm -hmm. a story with someone. Because, I mean, I, I wouldn't – it, it takes a lot of courage to do that. Thanks, Thanks, Thanks man.